Hi everyone, meteorologist Mike Mahalik here. It's time to talk about the stormy times ahead that we have towards the end of the week and into the weekend. I'm sure a lot of you have been seeing much about that weekend storm, but first we have a storm on Thursday and you could see that on the satellite picture. Here it is out towards Colorado in Nebraska and that's streaming its moisture across the United States and a little cold front moving across New England with a couple of flurries and snow showers into the overnight hours here, but not much of accumulation from that, maybe a dusting in the hills. So on the radar here, you see that moisture starting to gather, some areas of snow and mix pushing its way east, and that is gonna be our weather maker heading into late in the day on Thursday. So here's Thursday's forecast. Well, the light snow will be moving in, but not until later in the day, talking late afternoon in DC, out towards State College, maybe even early evening. Probably doesn't get to New York City until we get into the early nighttime hours and more towards midnight and after into Hartford and Boston. So. During the day, just increasing clouds, the light snow later, and then at night, that snow spreads over the area, but you will see that along the coast, it will warm up as we head towards Friday morning. So some of these areas could start mixing with rain on that immediate shoreline, but across the interior, certainly 20 degrees, all snow back in Scranton, the Lehigh Valley, out towards Hartford, pretty much snow for everybody. So the good news is on Friday, that clears out pretty quickly. So pretty much just some lingering rain snow across New England. That's out during the morning. Couple of snow showers across the interior. Temperatures do rise into the 40s, but the mid 30s heading back across the mountains of the Appalachians. So how much snow will be expected with the Thursday night system? Well, here's a good estimate from the NAM model that we're seeing. Pretty much one to two inches. So places like State College, Scranton, Allentown, pretty much a one to two inch type event. Back down towards Philly, maybe about an inch or so. Uh, heading more towards the coastline where that mixing is occurring, could be a coating to an inch, something like that. So a little bit less, and that extends along Long Island and out towards Cape Cod and just south of Boston. So you have to go a little bit further into the interior to see those inch or maybe two inch amounts with this storm. So. That's our pretty much our little appetizer uh, before we get into the weekend. So let's take a look at that storm. Here it is moving in later in the day on Saturday and heading into Saturday night and in through Sunday. Big storm system here, lots of moisture being sucked out of the Gulf of Mexico, overriding a lot of cold air to the north. So we do think this system starts as a pretty heavy shot of snow on the front side. But then as that warm air mixes in aloft, we could be looking at some precip changing over to some sleet, maybe prolonged period of freezing rain, especially as you get towards just northwest of Philly, maybe towards the Lehigh Valley, northern New Jersey, in through Connecticut and out towards Boston. Could be some significant icing going on with this storm. And off to the northwest of there, we're talking about very heavy snow. Now the next map is a snow map and it's from the Canadian model, but please just take it with a grain of salt because basically this is just to get an idea of what kind of snow amounts that we may be seeing with this storm. Hefty amounts across Northern Pennsylvania, upstate New York, over into Maine, and then much less as you get closer to the coast because we're gonna think that there could be some mixing here as we just discussed. So that will really bring down amounts. I mean, you're talking about you know, amounts in the six to seven inch range in the Lehigh Valley, and then down towards the Philly area, maybe two and even one down towards DC here. So certainly a big gradient. Now, what we have seen today is that this storm has trended slightly colder. So that's something we're watching. Yesterday was a bit warmer, today a bit colder. So will this heavy snow band start shifting a bit further to the south and east? something we're really watching here as we head over the next several days. So in the meantime, please check us out on social media. We're WeatherWorks, your weather experts. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram, and as always at weatherworksinc.com.